52 students have committed suicide in the highest institution of learning in this country, the IITs, in the past 10 years. It's the most, and many of the cases to one, one of my questions in the parliament, the minister, he himself has accepted that nearly 72 cases of past discrimination have been booked in these in higher learning institutions. It is shameful. What are we teaching? What is the point of these institutions if this is what we are going to do our, to our students? Fatima Lati was sent to IIT with a lot of promise. This girl has committed suicide under mysterious circumstances and the parents say that before they went to the room of this girl, the whole place was cleaned up. Even the rope with which they say that she hung herself has been removed. And the cell phone in which as a screensaver she has named a few professors and not one single FIR has been filed and no arrests have been done so far. The girl has specifically named a particular professor. But there's been no arrest. So who are they trying to protect? Why has uh, the professor not even been called for uh, in, uh, interrogation? And, uh, sir, wha what is happening? The students Conclude. are protesting there, sir. How many deaths, how much of discrimination can continue happening over there? And we can see that the IIT is saying that, as a colleague has already said, that uh, it is, uh, that the, uh, the name of the IIT is being tarnished. If, if students are going to kill themselves in the, because of discrimination and if this is going to continue, I think it is very fair that this institution cannot continue to function like this. Higher learning institutions cannot become a place of caste and religious discrimination. Thank you, sir. Sri